Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. Dallas Cowboys, we are in the midst of a horrible, horrible start to the season. We are 1-5. We are last in the division. But you can look at the schedule and the results. And outside of the Washington game, in the losses, we haven't played bad. Three points, I mean, three-point loss, and I think we figured out last episode it was eight points. Let's see, one, three, five, yeah, eight points. Outside of the Washington loss, the other four losses are by a combined eight points. One touchdown, and we could be undefeated. But we're not, so let's get into today. Uh, so we left off last episode, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, let me double check the roster. It has been a couple of days since I recorded. Uh, Mari Cooper is out. All right, that's going to hurt us a little bit. Byron Jones is probable with a stress fracture. And, um... Let's see. I need to let me, let me pull something up real quick. I just want to take a look at my had a comment made on here. Let's see. Uh, Brad sixty two. Thanks for the comment. Uh, he said, and again, if you don't know, I have dual monitor and two computers set up. So I'm checking out my other monitor over here so it's not on camera for you guys. Uh, Brad62 commented, you mentioned a place for injuries. You may be aware, but I will say anyways. Go to the bottom near uh, to Team News. All right, Team News right here near the bottom. And it will have all your injuries. Bam. Brad, kudos to you, sir. Much appreciated. I probably knew that was there, but I didn't remember, and that is an easy one-click place to go look. Um, still not happy that it doesn't tell you previous contract offers or anything like that. But anyway, Brad62, thank you for checking out the series. Thank you for the comment, pointing that out. Very helpful. Hope, some, hope the rest of you guys get something out of that. Uh, so let's take a look at the depth chart. I'm going to leave Cooper there. I mean, he's out, but that's going to put Knowlton into the start. Ship. Doyle. Hmm. Doyle and Gallup. Let's go back here. Just want to look at the wide receivers. All right, so if we sort by speed, Doyle. Doyle has great speed. He can replace Cooper up top. I don't have a problem with that. His hands are not as good, right? So actually, Randy Ship. Randy Ship might be the guy we want to go to there. Um, so let's do that. Man, yeah, all right. So it doesn't take out the injured players, which we already knew, but ship's already there. Uh, ship. Knowlton. Doyle. And then... Gallup. Let's put Gallup in there. All right. Well, again, I probably I should not make that decision because I'd already said we were going to let the coaches make that decision. And that may be a shortcoming in the game where it doesn't pull out an injured player. But that does move Knowlton up into that number one slot. 
Ship's already in the in the in play, and that'll bring Doyle and Gallup in as needed. All right, I'm gonna be happy with that. And if you see me looking down here to the to the at an angle, not to my monitor, I've got my phone turned on. On I'm, I'm live streaming the uh, the Leeds United Preston North End match today. Uh, big Leeds fan. And God Almighty, we need three points. <laughs> All right. Anyway, different type of football. All right, let's simulate the week. Show the score. Oh, we were off this week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we couldn't lose any placing, so that's good. A couple of emails. Boom, boom. All right. Our kicker has signed our contract. Chris Boswell. Uh, let's delete all. Uh, if you do not recall, hmm, team news. Yes, week seven, we signed Chris Boswell. We just signed him to an extension. Uh, so he has not, I don't think he's played a game for us yet. He has not. So he will be making his debut in our next game. I figured... We let our kicker go, Maher, right? And then we had... God dog it. All right, I got to close that. We got to go to the roster, roster management. Uh, we had signed Vasquez. He was our starter at the beginning of the season. 12 out of 13 on extra points. 9 out of 12 on field goals. Not horrible, not horrible. Zero for two from over 40, five of six. Not horrible, but he just needs to develop a little bit, right? So we signed a veteran kicker, put him on the practice squad where we can let him. Oh, there was almost another goal. Jesus. Um, so we went out and signed a veteran kicker. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Remember, we're one in five, so it can't hurt, right? God, I don't even want to hit this button. Oh, my God, 24 to 16. Thank God for the Rams. Blake Bortles. Ezekiel Elliott, 18 for 90. Only 11 first downs, 3 of 12. 300 yards. Two and one. All right, so we had an extra turnover. Prescott, 17 of 27, not great. Elliott, two, two touchdowns, so that's good. Three-yard average for Gurley. Got to be liking that contract. Uh, Oliphant, ship, 10.5. Doyle, three for 82. He had a 54-yard catch. Nice. All right, well, we will take the win. I think one of my cats may have gotten locked in a closet. <laughs> oh, well. I'll go check on them when this is over, I swear. All right, Dallas and Atlanta. Oh, that's not good. Much better. Defense looks like they let us down here a lot. Uh, did Prescott get hurt again? 7 out of 16. That's a, quite a lot. Uh, and that's not a very good rating. Reuter is our uh, Michigan State recruit that we signed this offseason. I think he's going to be decent. I think he's going to be decent. Uh, so, emails... Team report, player report. I forgot to check that last week. And let's go back to the roster. And Prescott, a uh, broken cheekbone. Well, I mean, he's completing 63.5%, just not doing a lot with it. Lyle Collins is probable with turf toe, a broken finger. Cooper's out one to two more weeks. 
Oh wait, remember we can go here. Ta-da! Thanks again for that. Our punter retired. I had forgotten. I hadn't caught that. And we made a trade. If you didn't see that, go back last episode. Check it out. All right, so seven, eight, nine. All right, so we're going through week 12. All right, Dallas and Philly. What's the standings? Standings? Two and six. Chasing, well, we're not chasing anybody. We're just trying to get out of the cellar. Uh, we're only a game behind everybody else. So, I mean, I guess this is a crucial game of sorts. Twenty-eight, nothing. Oh, I was excited. I thought we were we were the winners, but no, we get stoned. Ow. Well, thank God this is a game, and we beat the hell out of them the other night in real life. Wow, twelve first downs. We're right at three hundred yards every freaking game. Thirteen of twenty-three. That's barely fifty percent. And yeah, we're not going to win games like that, Dak Prescott. Team performance. The owner is seriously worried and the marketing department demanding your resignation. Oh, I agree. Wow. Haven't seen that before. wonder if you can get fired. And shouldn't they be mad at the coach? Maybe I should fire the coach. Can I fire the coach? Let's look at our staff. I mean, honestly, we made the playoffs with him, David Brooks. He was our offensive coordinator, remember? Morale? Flexible. I cannot fire him right now. I cannot. I can. I'm clicking. Nothing. Nothing happening. All right. So I cannot fire a coach mid-season. Although we know that happens all the time. All the time, right? But I'm going to be the scapegoat here. All right. So, Denver. 20 to 10. All right. Much needed win. Prescott did not look good again. 18 of 34. Again, barely over 50%. No touchdowns. Jarwin, uh, Boswell, two of two on extra points, two of two on field goals. How is he doing on the season? So four games, perfect seven of seven, four of six. He did miss one from inside 40, but he made two from two of three from over 40. So that's good. Oh, hold on. Scoring opportunity. Nope. Blocked out. Sorry. I was all excited. All right. You can close. You can open. Morale is declining. Well, you're, you're, you guys are the ones losing, man. All right. Week 12. This will be the last week. Played Philadelphia again. 35-20. All right, so back-to-back -back wins to end the sim. Prescott looks much better. 21 out of 35. Three touchdowns. Randy Ship. Randy Ship. Randy Ship. Holy crap. I hope you guys had him on your fantasy team this week. Man. That's what y'all need to do is start a fantasy league based on the Cowboys. Who are you going to take in each week? Put that in the comments. So, like, you know I'm going to do six games. So, like, week eight, week nine, week ten. 
Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, for the next episode, week 13, who's who's going to be the cowboy of the game type thing. Uh, so 21 out of 35, 261, three touchdowns, one pick. Elliott and Pollard over five yards of carry. Pollard with two more touchdowns. He's got how many on the season? Four? Almost a career year for him. That's awesome. Knowlton, six catches, 55 yards. Oliphant, a big game. Ship, four for 91, three touchdowns. Can't complain with that. Cooper is back, so five for 46. How many touchdowns does he have? Cooper, four touchdowns. All right. Oh, crap. Preston scored. Oh. I missed the score. Shit. That sucks. We're going to drop another three points that we shouldn't. Uh, email. Sorry. Getting distracted. Player report, training report. Don't need that. All right. Let's take a look here. All right. So Detroit and Green Bay at seven and four. Chicago is one game behind them. Saints are two games up in the south over the Falcons. Giants are 10 and one and running away with home field advantage. We are only one game out of second place, and three games out of the wild card. We could still make the playoffs. Probably won't, but we could. Seattle's nine and two. Rams are seven and five. Uh, and over in the American League, just in case you're worried about that side, Pittsburgh. Colts are nine and three. Seven and four game up on Jacksonville, eight and three. Patriots are struggling. And the Chargers, eight and three. And Broncos still looking for their first win. Uh, we're 19th in scoring offense, 16th in scoring defense. We rank in the top 10 in rushing and in the top 10 in pass defense. So we're doing all right. Elliott's broken a thousand yards. Ship is the team leader with 657 yards receiving. And where do we, let's see, da, 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 team schedule. All right, so we finish off against the Giants at home. No, we're on the road there. Okay, home team's first. So on the road with the Giants, home games with the Bears and the Giants, and then back-to-back -back road games with the Vikings and the Redskins. Do any of those help us? So Washington, uh, Minnesota, and Chicago. Minnesota, no. Chicago, Chicago might. I mean, depends on what happens with the Packers, but uh, everything else is in our division. We need to beat the Giants, but we need Philadelphia to lose. We need to beat them in that last matchup with them. Oh, we don't have another matchup with them. Damn it. Oh, well. 239-239, 3-3 three and three at home, 1-4 and four on the road. Two-game win streak. So, all right. Well, hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. We will be back for the season finale and uh, whatever playoffs that there may be next episode. And uh, we'll take a look there. I do need to go in and look at contracts. We had, we'd kind of already gone through this, but... Or did we? Or did we? Yes, I do remember quite a few of these guys. Uh, Zach Martin's the only one I'm contemplating to re-sign. He's still an every game starter. So I think we probably need to re-sign him. He's making $4 million. That'd be a million dollars a year. And all right, so we'll see what happens there. Because I think we want to keep our offensive line intact. We do want to start recruiting, or recruiting, I'm thinking college. Um, I would like to start drafting some more players on the offensive line just to give them a couple of years to develop, to replace some of these veterans uh, as they start getting to that 34, 35, 36 range, right? So, um, yeah, anyway. 
Uh, we are going to have quite a few people we're letting go this year. That's going to drop 15 million off, 15 and a half million off our payroll, which means we'll be able to start signing some of our more expensive players uh, if we, if you know, the year after that. So we're we're, we're doing all right. Uh, that million won't hurt us, and I just don't think. Yeah, he's only played four games, so he is, and he's thirty. So we probably can replace him with somebody uh, younger and uh, cheaper. Same with Jordan Lewis. I hate to get rid of him, but just as uh, in the game ratings, he was awesome in college, but speed isn't there. Uh, yeah, so that's the key, that's the key stat for that cornerback, I believe. But all right, guys, we're out of here. And we will see you next episode. Take care. Bye.